Well, I forgot to do this last one at the end uh, when I was going through these four examples. Let's take a quick look at it before we go on to something else. Uh, I wanted to find, we want to find C times D. And if I go to my previous page, I'm going to have to look right here. Matrix C is a 3 by 2. And what I want to do, C times what? Matrix D is a 2 by 3. If I want to multiply C times D, I'd have to check. Oh, C times D, I'd have to check my dimensions. And the dimension for C does not match with the dimension for D, where the inside dimensions would match up. If I went a row by a column, I wouldn't have the right number of elements. So this one is impossible. Now let's go to the next thing. Using matrices to write a system of equations in the form AX equal B. Now earlier in 5.1 we saw how to solve a system of equations using that addition method. You know where we add them up, multiply by something to get X's or Y's to cancel out. Well we're going to see how to solve systems of equations using matrices, but we first have to identify an A, an X, and a B. So for A, let me write one down and then you'll, you'll see what, uh, where these matrices come from. So we want to write in the format of AX equal B. A is called the coefficient matrix. I don't have a lot of room there, huh? called the coefficient matrix. X is called the variable matrix. And B, uh, there's no real fancy name other than it's the equal to parts. So we'll take a system of equations and break it down into these three matrices. So here is my system. Here are my three matrices. Matrix A, Matrix X, and Matrix B. A is going to look like this, 2, negative 5, 4, 9. See where it came from? It's just the coefficients on the left-hand side, 2, negative 5, 4, 9. The variable matrix will always name the variables, X, Y two variables involved. Matrix B will always be the parts on the other side of the equal, time, equal sign, 7 and negative 3. This format is going to help me solve equations, a system of equations, later on. But I have to be able to extract A, X, and B from a system of equations that looks something like this or maybe this one right here. Let's take this second one write it in a format and extract from that an A, an X, and a B. So matrix A times matrix X equal to matrix B. A is the coefficient matrix and it's going to come from the coefficients on our variables on the left. So it'll be 1, negative 3, 1. 2, 1, 1, 1, negative 5, negative 2. X is our variable matrix, just names the variables involved. Here we have 3, X, Y, Z. B represents the equal to parts, 4, 1, 6. Hang on to this because we'll use that shortly when we look at solving a system of equations. Now you get to pull out the calculator and use it to do some of that basic arithmetic that we were doing earlier, but hopefully uh, by using our calculator we'll avoid making a lot of careless mistakes. Okay, uh, You've got the directions here. Take a second and read through those while I go ahead and write down the matrices we'll need to put in our calculator. Here is matrix F.
Get your calculator out. I'll need matrix G. There's G. There's A. B looks like this. And F is the one we stated earlier. Okay, so we're going to work with our calculator, put these matrices in our calculator, and show... Oh, was there one that I missed here? Let's see. No, looks like just those operations. We'll probably perform more than that. There we go. There we go. Lost you. All right, so pull up your calculator. And we're going to put in, we're going to input our matrices so we can perform some operations. So we'll need to go to this feature right here, matrix. So we press second and matrix. Now when you do that, you'll have three options. Names, math, or edit. If you're going to input a matrix to be able to later on perform some operations, edit is where you need to go. Then you pick the name that you want to put. Whatever place you want to put it in, pick the name so it matches uh, with what you're doing. So I want to put in a matrix F, so I'm going to come down here. Notice I went to edit first. I'm going to drop down to F. Oops, went too far. There we go. So I have edit highlighted. I have F highlighted. So I'm going to enter, and now I'm going to enter matrix F. I first have to give it the size. So I'll press 3, enter, 3, enter. And that tells the calculator that I'm working with a 3x3, three three and it sets it up for all nine entries. Then I just type in my entries. Negative 1, press enter after each entry. Type in 3, press enter. Type in 6, press enter. Next row, 0, enter, negative 3, enter, 4, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, negative 2, enter. Enter, press enter after each entry that you type in. Then go back and check against the matrix to make sure you didn't type anything in uh, <clears throat> the wrong way. Let me check these out. Yes. Once you have your matrix set up, press second and quit. So that was matrix F. We also need G and A, as well as B. So let's go and put in the other ones. Go to second, matrix. Go to the edit feature first. I'm going to put in matrix G, so I'm going to come down here. I could type 7, but I'm just going to arrow down to the G position. So it's on edit, it's on edit, it's on G. Press enter, and now let's tell it the size and put the, put the elements in. So it's a 2 by 2 matrix. Press enter after each number you type in. And the first row is 3, then enter, 4, then enter, 0, then enter, negative 7 then enter and then quit once you have all your elements in press second and quit well we still have two more to input let's go to second matrix <clears throat> go to edit then let's go to matrix A now if something's in there it doesn't matter because you're going to write right over it right on top of it and change it to the new matrix you want in there so I'm on edit I'm on A. I'm going to press enter and let's tell it it's a 2 by 2 matrix. Always press enter after each element. So 2, enter, 6, enter, 0, enter, negative 4, enter. And go back and check to make sure you got everything entered, in, entered into the calculator the correct way. 
second clip. And let's put one more <coughs> matrix in there, matrix B. Second matrix, edit first, down to the letter. And matrix B is a three by three matrix. One, whoops, see, I didn't press enter after that. One, enter, zero, enter, zero, enter. Zero, enter, one, enter, zero, enter. Zero, zero, one. Check your entries, make sure they match with what's on your paper. Second and quit. So now we have all of our matrices inputted. Now we have input all our matrices into the calculator. That sounds a little bit better. <coughs> now let's perform some operations. If I want to recall a matrix to perform an operation, then I'm going to go to the matrix names feature. We just went to the edit feature to input a matrix. Now to recall a matrix, we'll go to matrix and names. And I want to do F squared. So I'm going to go to my calculator. From my home screen, I'm going to go to matrix. I'm going to stay under the names category and go and pick up F. Oops. So stay under names, arrow to the one that you want, and it brings it on your display. So I have the matrix F there, and I need to tell it what I want to do to it. It said I wanted to square it, so I'm going to hit the X squared feature, and <clears throat> there's the answer. No arithmetic mistakes, there's your answer for F squared. I'm hoping I had everything typed in the right way. If I didn't, we may not get the same results, so always go back and check to make sure, again, that you put it in the right way. So there's F squared. So, let me type that in. Actually, So there we go. There's F squared. Let's do G times A. So we're here at the, our home screen. Let's go to matrix and pull up the name of G. I can just type 7 times matrix and names and A. <coughs> press enter and it multiplies the two matrices for us. So 6, 2, 0, and 28. Now we did that one earlier and I got a 50. I'm going to have to go back and check. I must have copied a sign wrong or something. So 6, 2, 0, 28. G times A. G times A. And last operation is 3B plus 2F. We've already put B and F into the calculator, so now let's hit 3, pull up <coughs> B plus 2, and matrix names, pull up F. 3B plus 2F. Let me make sure that's what we wanted. Yep. Press enter and it calculates it for us. So we can record that. So now you know how to put the matrices in your calculator. When you go to do the homework in Math Excel, you can use your calculator to check your arithmetic. Make sure you, you get um, 
you get that correct by using your calculator.